going to the church where Martin Luther King once spoke because I've always wanted to know about our history, about our history, and I learned a lot that night. So I appreciate I appreciate the bowl for, for that opportunity. Uh, I would say the same on the Martin Luther King Church. I'm on church um, here, here from the, um, the panel, here from the people that was there during, during that time, and just to hear the knowledge that they were able to share with us about um, becoming leaders and making a change in the world and making a change on our campus and um, using the platform that we have. And I also want to like, thank the board for taking us there, uh, giving us the opportunity to learn more about our, our history and the history that um, the door, they were at. Able to make. Yeah, I, I would agree with what they're talking about. Also, uh, I think there was a lot of, you know, history in that going to them and listening to those people talk. I think there's a lot of knowledge that they they have over time. You know, those guys are old. They've seen a lot of things in this country, and I think that just being able to learn it and, and taking advice from them on how to, you know, better this country and grow to the to our potential. I think that's the kind of things that 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 I took in the most from them. I think you can't really learn that, you know, in school. And, and, history books and just people talking to you. I think that people would experience and, and they have that kind of life experience. It helps just being able to grow as humans. Uh, I agree with these guys. Uh, I'm a big history guy. Uh, so the MLK thing was really cool um, getting to hear from them. Also the College Football Hall of Fame was really cool for me. Uh, just getting to you know, kind of see how far college football has come uh, and look at all the guys that are in there. They had a cool little display of, um, you could like, look up all the, all the players that were in there. And uh, I was with Coach Rude. He had his uh, great-grandfather was in there at the start of Nebraska football. So um, that was pretty cool to see. And getting just to see all the stuff they had in there, um, on the interactive things were, were pretty cool. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a wild ride. Um, I'm truly thankful for it, you know, to be able to come in as a freshman to experience the uh, Fiesta Bowl year going 12-1, uh, the next year going to another bowl game, and um, to having the unfortunate year of going 0-12, uh, and having this year going 12-0, I mean, that's an experience. Um, a lot of players, I'm sure, were not able to experience, you know, had the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know. So being able to learn from those each year that I was able to um, have at University of Central Florida, Florida has been great uh, in teaching that I'm able to teach the younger guys and um, share with future teammates and future players um, to come um, come the past with me. Uh, he's a very good player. He, uh, he's a patient runner and he runs hard. Uh, we're going to have to get to the ball. We're going to have to run to the ball. And I'm feeling good about it, but we know he's going to be a tough task. Yeah, he's, he's a great bat, you know, you can't hide that. Um, very patient. Um, if he sees an open gap, he's going to hit it. So we're going to have to be prepared and playing fast like we usually do, um, taking our shots on uh, the tackle. Uh, we're going to have to tackle well. And just going to fly around as a defense and um, kind of try to stop that. Yeah, he, he, 21, he's a really good back. Uh, he's very patient in the hole. And, you know, if you overplay him, he's going to hit the backside and cut back. And I think it's one of those things where we have to be real discipline as far as our gaps and gap sound as far as working as a whole defense. I think we're going to have to game tackle him. I don't think a lot of solo tackles will be made in this game. He's really easy, good back. He's an NFL guy. So I think once we game tackle him, I think it's going to take effort every play, just bringing him down. And I think not, not enough credit goes to that old line. Those guys are really good also. And, you know, I think that's we got to limit him and try to take away that from their offense. I definitely, I definitely agree. Um, I think one thing that the other guys haven't said is um, he's really balanced. Um, so making sure that um, you know you hit him and hang on, um, wait for other guys to get there too, is a big thing. Um, if we have a lot of missed tackles, then it's going to be a long day. Um, so I think our tackling's got to be great. And like they've said, um, <coughs> I mean, it's it's a tough task, but we're up for it. Uh, well. When, at first, when I looked at them, I'm like, oh, man, they don't really, you know, I thought they were going to be big, huge. Uh, but then I noticed that they were wearing the same jumpsuits we were wearing. So I looked at myself in the mirror, and I'm thinking, so what do they think about me right now? And I thought I looked like a linebacker. So 
I was like, uh, I'm a little smaller. I look a little smaller in this jumpsuit, so that's probably why they look a little smaller. So I have to wait to see them outside of the jumpsuits. Yeah, it's kind of like what these guys are saying. You can't really tell the size of people when they got, they're fitted up real tight and their, their muscles are kind of squished in with the jumpsuits they're wearing. So I think mean, it's one of those things where, you know, guys look huge in pads and they can be kind of average size dudes when, when they're just walking around in the streets. I think, I don't think there's really a difference with it. I think those guys, when we get on the field on Monday, I think that's when we'll really be able to, you know, size them up. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. They put on their pads and pants the same way we do. You know, it's football. It's two different types of football, but it's still football. Uh, it's, it's been huge, um, obviously, coming in that first year. Uh, it's pretty tough. You know, it's kind of hard to see um, that we could kind of come back this fast and, you know, have a season like we did. But, uh, you know, having the guys that had been there before was huge because, you know, they gave us hope and they had confidence in us. And uh, I think they've done a good job bringing this team together and, you know, it showed. Uh, I don't know if we adjusted. Uh, the past couple, the last couple of games, we just we made mental errors and we went back and fixed those. But as far as that, we've just been following the game plan that our coaches have, have gave us. And right now, we're dialed into it and we're 100 percent ready. And I feel like all we gotta do now is go in and execute. Uh, the past, you know, uh, past two games, uh, we faced some very good opponents. You know. Coaching staff had great schemes, the uh, attack guy deep through the scheme. And we, were, we were able to uh, adjust, well, notice, notice the uh, way that those teams were attacking us. So uh, we we're more aware of what to expect um, on the, the spots where um, team, those teams were hitting us at. So uh, our, t our antennas are up, and we know what to expect, and we know the little holes, the, the holes that um, those teams were. Attacking us in, so uh, we're ready. We know uh, what to expect and uh, how to play fast on, on the way on the uh, uh, defending the way those teams are attacked us. Yeah, I think uh, you know those last two games, these, those are top ranked teams in the country, and, and especially on offense, those guys are really good. So they, they were going to put their points up anyway. But I think I think as a defense, you know, going 12 weeks straight of banging and, and hitting. And, tackling, you know, that it takes a toll on us and, you know, I'm not trying to make an excuse for those showings, but, you know, that it, 12 weeks straight, is, it's hard physically and it's physically demanding, you know, it's a physically demanding sport, but, you know, we've got, we're rested up now, and uh, we, we, we had a lot of mental errors those last two weeks and they missed assignments and, and stuff like that, and I think it was just, you know, practice, it, it wasn't the same, and our coaches were saying it also, but I think, you know, we've locked in, we've got back to the basics, even the simplest tackling, tackling drills and stuff like that, I think that's what we've been working on. I think that's gonna it's gonna help us having this time off and just just practicing and get better. Yeah, for sure. Um, we've been cleaning things up. Um, you know, you have to make adjustments as the season goes on um, because you know off offenses kind of copy each other. Um, if one team hits you with this or that and is successful, the next week you're probably gonna be getting it too. So um, you know, we've we've had to do that all year. Um, you know, Memphis and USF. Um, Posed some, you know, very high potent offense, and you know, hit us with some things that we weren't necessarily ready for. But I think we, we made some good adjustments, and um, you know, we've been able to <laughs> kind of focus on that a little bit, and uh, you know, put our game plan in for Auburn, and just you know, be ready for Monday.